Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. All right, I did this up and I had actually posted a, a question on the group page and asked if any of you knew how to do this. And a bunch of you said you didn't. Well, I will show you how to do this. It's actually um, in one of the old videos. This right here usually sets here as this, but you know that any of these um, icons over here, they have a little triangle on the corner of them, means that you put your little arrow on there and then you press and you long hold on your left um, mouse key. That's going to bring up another um, little menu here. So right here's the spiral. Well, let's bring up this little spiral. Okay. And let's center it to the page. And we can rotate it a bit if we want, which is what I want right there. Okay. And now we're also, also going to press and long hold for the type on the path tool. And I want my path to start right in the middle. Okay. And let's just start typing. And remember, I always use two spaces between my letters because sometimes when you're doing this type on path and you are in something like this, it looks like a seashell or the swirl, whatever it is, um, it can get lost and jumbled up. So double space, sometimes you even want a triple space. Okay, and you see here's a double, double, this is a single, and it's kind of getting lost. So if you accidentally do that, just come back, put your cursor there. Okay, so let's highlight that. If you don't like what font you have, select, just highlight the whole thing. I did not change anything. I went straight from text up and grabbed the arrow. I can come here and start selecting and you see it's changing but let me I'm gonna fill I want fill in here I want to fill that with black so I can really see how it's gonna look okay so you can come through and pick whatever font you want now I don't like the way this H is setting well I'm gonna come back into my text I can click anywhere on here and that's going to put my cursor. Then you know your little arrow keys that you have on your keyboard. Use them. Okay, and I'm going to push this arrow key all the way back until it stops. That's going to put me in front of the H. Now I'm going to use my space bar. But look, that H just kind of wants to sit there. Okay, it's not really going to straighten out an awful lot. So. I'm going to delete that and try another one. And you see it kind of, that's what it does when it's in this circle. So I'm going to use the regular size H. When I push the capital, it puts it on that little kind of hilt there. So I'll just use a regular size H. But that's how you go about using things in this spiral. And to get the spiral, Okay, this is what it normally looks like. You press with your left mouse key. I'm still holding it. Okay, I'm pushing and holding. I have never let up yet. Still have it held. I come down here, then I release the mouse key. And that brings up the spiral. So now I'm pushing and holding my left mouse key. Still have it held. I'm still holding it, still holding it. I release it, and that pops out of it. Okay. So let's go through this again. Okay, so I'm pushing, still have my left mouse key pressed. And again, I'm pushing my left mouse key. I still have it pressed, still pressing, still pressing. Now I release it, and that releases my spiral. Okay, and then you're texting. You come and you long hold, still pressing the left mouse key. Then I release, and that brings up my text on the path. And that allows me to type wherever I want. 
and it will continue to function appropriately until you come up here and change something. When you do that, it will start to mess with your ability to change things in here. So I don't recommend doing any of the changes up here until you have everything set how you want it, okay? So if you don't like how something's laying, <clears throat> come back here, hit that. We're going to come in here. We're going to add that. I'm going to add another space in there. So that's doubled, doubled. We'll add, let's see if we can add another space in here. That looks good. Maybe one in there. So you can do all of that. All right. And if you want to get rid of the whole thing, double click on it and just delete it. And you can start all over again. All right, guys, so there's a real quick lesson on how to add text to a spiral. If you guys have any questions, find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhelp on Facebook.